In this video we are going to learn about some of the greatest computer programmers who revolutionized the computer industry. These programmers have completely changed the way humans access to information and mass media. Selecting which programmer is the absolute most influential is often a chicken and egg conundrum. I don't think it's possible to pick a single person. We all have our favorites. But despite having personal heroes in the field, it's pretty clear that the art of programming is a vastly multifaceted discipline, and it's not possible for a single person to embody the best attributes of every facet. In fact, it must be a contradictory goal to embody the best between some facets and other facets. Dennis McAllister Ritchie was an American computer scientist who is credited with being the all-time best programmer for his pioneering work towards shaping the digital era. He is the creator of the most used C programming language and Unix operating system. Modern computing as we know it would not have existed without Dennis Ritchie, without his contributions it's likely none of us would be using personal computers today. Ritchie and his team released Unix to the public at a symposium on operating systems principles that was hosted by IBM and it was an immediate success. Unix was written in machine language, which had a small vocabulary and did not deal well with multiple computers and their memories. So Ritchie came up with the C programming language to solve this problem. In the early 21st century, C is still the dominant language of computer programming. It was such a simple, concise language that almost every single computer maker at the time switched to it. Ken Thompson and Dennis Ritchie started building the Unix system in 1965. They found a structure which simplified many aspects of the interactions between computers and people. Thompson and Ritchie were aiming to keep their system simple, and they found a collection of primitives that enabled them to do a great deal with a very few primitives. Another nice feature of the Unix programming environment is the concept of input-output redirection. Normally, when you type a command, the output from it goes to your terminal, and the input comes from your keyboard. However, the shell can be told by a simple notation that when you run a program, you wish the output to be directed into a file or that the input be taken from a file. So along the way in the course of the Unix system development, Dennis Ritchie created the C language. C is a very nice high-level language with many of the modern programming constructs in it. The thing that's very important about it is that it lets you avoid the details of the machine when you want to, but when you need to, and sometimes when you're writing an operating system, you really do need to, you can get at the details of the machine and control everything. But you're not forced to do that, and that's important because that means you can write operating systems in this language and still have something that can be portable to other machines. The Unix system has been moved to many, many different kinds of computers. Again, that means that people can ignore the details of what a machine is underneath and get on with their job. Now, so at that level, C is by far the favored language. At the next level, the shell programming language is very popular. In fact, on some machines, people find that the shell meets all of their programming needs. They are writing lots of procedures to help them manage their work. They don't even have to go to a language at the level of, of C. As it happens, though, because the system is such a pleasant programming environment, programmers all over the world have imported or added their own languages. So, for instance, you can find Fortran, Algol, Lisp, BASIC. In fact, almost any language you can think of exists on some Unix system somewhere. What's important about the Unix system is not so much what Ritchie and Thompson put into it as what they were able to leave out of it. Rather than produce a large number of primitives, each one complex, they were able to choose a small number of simple primitives which could be fitted naturally together to accomplish complex tasks. This structure of the operating system makes it natural and easy 
for people who create applications to produce applications in that same style. For example, as the